Hey, what's happening, good one? I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, and in today's video, I'm here to provide you with my review for the Genki Bunko Fighting Climax, which is available for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita. Pretty much what this game is, is that it's a 2D fighting game featuring all-star cast of popular characters from the Genki Bunko novels. Now, going over the visual aspect of the game, whether or not you're playing this on PlayStation 3 and or the PlayStation Vita, both versions of the game look really, really good. I like the fact that each of the different characters are nicely detailed to uh, portray uh, where they belong to in terms of their franchises. And of course, also the different selective stages which you could fight on. For example, some of the hidden stages which you might be familiar with, such as from Virtual Fighter, things like Vicuria, or even Sonic the Hedgehog. But overall, the visual aspects, whether or not be for the handheld or home console, both which look really good. Now going over the gameplay, the gameplay is very easy to understand because all it is is a 2D fighting game where all you have to do is to beat up your opponent to achieve a victory and that's pretty much about it. However, the game does offer various amount of different activities in which you can participate in. For example, the first one is arcade mode where you basically go through the same type of storyline. All the storyline really is is that you have like the cybernetic shadow who is born from despair and hatred and pretty much what he's doing is that he's going over through the different universes and worlds and taking away people's hopes and dreams and you're basically the last light to bring hope and dreams back to the world simple as that again you could go through the same storyline with each of the different characters and you can unlock some additional uh, content or you could also earn some trophies along the way uh, the other options that you have is that you could connect online to play against other players or if someone's next to you with uh, another playstation vita you can connect that way you also have some different abilities such as challenge modes where you have a set of goals in which you need to accomplish in order to achieve victory and it's also connected with the online ranking system so if you like uh, that side of competitiveness you also have that choice and of course you also have little extra uh, goodies inside the bottom section of the game which basically allows you to listen to pretty much the entire soundtrack for the game you could check out some concept art you could even customize a character template which you could use online and of course you could even see some of the graphic novel upfront covers where these characters originally came from so the game is jam-packed with all kinds of little goodies and overall is definitely a really enjoyable experience now going over the sound aspect for the game the game is featured with the original japanese voice actors so if you're hoping the game had an english option unfortunately you're not going to find it here which is fine because for the most part they're not really talking as much it's usually right before the battle begins or while playing arcade mode but again the dialogue is really small so it's not really that big of a deal but the Japanese voice actors did a really good job portraying the roles now I haven't really looked into to see if it's the original cast uh, that they voiced once before but I'm pretty sure it is because each of the characters sounded really good also to the another uh, high aspect of the game that I liked was the end game soundtrack you even have some of the returning songs from future games such as Virtual Fighter or Sonic the Hedgehog or Valkyria which I thought was really cool that they added those soundtracks within the various stages in which you get to fight on. But overall, the sound aspect for the game, whether it be the voice actors or the soundtrack, was really pleasant to listen to. Now, going over the lifespan, overall, this game definitely has some replayability to it, depending on what you like to do. If you're the type of player who's only in it for the single player experience, you still have the arcade mode for each of the different characters, even though the story mode is going to be exactly the same, but you could easily unlock trophies to add to your collection. And and again, you could unlock all those little tokens in which you could use to buy concept art and of course to customize your template. You have that portion, but I feel like if you're in it for both the single player and the multiplayer, you're going to get more bang for your buck because there's just a lot more activity to be involved in. And especially if you're to take a game like this and make it into like a little tournament mode with your friends, and I feel like you're definitely going to have a really good replayability at the very end. But overall, no matter it is what you do, there's still a lot of content to do, whether it be the single player aspect or both single player and online many things to do and many things to unlock as for the innovation was there anything new here was the stuff that we were to see before there's variations of different fighting games out there a lot of fighting games tend to kind of either continue as a certain series 
or other fighting games are incorporating other games into their own little mechanic. So seeing something like this that's pretty popular in Japan, uh, having their own popular characters being set into a 2D fighting game, I thought that was a really nice change of pace. And overall for me, I personally, I don't play a whole lot of fighting games, so I can't really compare this to a lot of the other ones I've played besides Tekken. But overall, in the end, I felt like everything about this game was really well balanced. The characters seemed really good. Each character has their own special abilities. There is a lot of uh, content to get involved with, things to unlock along the way. But overall, at the very end, I'm going to be giving this title a 9 out of 10. It's definitely a fun game to have, and the fact that they're not even charging full price, whether it be for the Vita or PlayStation 3, is definitely something nice to add to your collection. But like I said, a 9 out of 10. If you guys want to see some gameplay, you guys can check the link in the description down below. Until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com where we empower your gaming.